Are you in need of money? Is there something you want to buy or someone you have to pay? Then this revolutionary book, Cryptocurrency by Kakrabaden, is what you are looking for. It will unlock sources of money you have but don't know you possess. You are just a book away from turning your finances around. Order the book Cryptocurrency, How to Profit from Free Labor through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Cryptocurrency in the comment section or message window. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Catch the Anointing Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Hello, Kakwa has been sharing a fantastic series titled The Art of Hearing under the subtitle Why You Must Hear the Voice of God. Yesterday he explained that supernatural guidance means to receive counsel from God. Today he shares the second definition of guidance. Come along. The second definition of guidance means to assist somebody. I remember many years ago when I was in university, you know, I needed a car. And one day I was walking, the sun was shining. And it was, a, it was a terribly hot day that day. So I said to the Holy Spirit, I need my own personal car purchased by myself. And I need your assistance. So I remember I went to bed. In the morning when I woke, I went, I went to the bathroom. And I remember clearly when I was going to sleep, the bucket was empty. But when I woke up, it was full. And I was the only one in the house. So I started wondering, who came to fill this bucket with water? Then I looked at the tap carefully and I realized that the tap was dripping. And you know what? Overnight, the, 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 the big bucket became full. Then the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he said to me, if you save every penny, cut down your expenditure, he said over a period of time, your money will become a lock like the water in this bucket and you can buy that car. The Lord was assisting me to buy a car. Then a scripture came to my mind, some Proverbs chapter 28 verse 19. It says, He that tilleth his land shall have plenty of bread, but he that followeth after vain shall have poverty enough. Then 20 says, A faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he that maketh make his to be rich shall not be innocent. That incident revealed to my heart one of the secrets of life. And it came through the counsel or the assistance of the Holy Spirit. He said to me, in life, you just need to be consistent. And when you are consistent at anything, over a period of time, you become great in it. This counsel has stuck with me forever up to today. It says, a faithful man shall abound with blessings. In other words, whatever you are doing, if you are faithful to it and you are consistent over a period of time, it becomes very large and very big. There are people looking for one big deal and make five billion dollars in a week. Well, it's possible, but very few people have that opportunity. Very few people. But since I received the assistance of the Holy Spirit, through his counsel, I believe in consistency. And when we, we follow the counsel of the Lord, supernatural guidance, he assists us. In Acts chapter 16, verse 5, the Bible says that Paul as God assisted Paul in ministry. Look at what happened. You know, Paul wanted to go and preach, but God had to assist him and show him where he should go and preach. Let's read. When they're going to Phrygia and the region of Galatia, they were forbidden of the Holy Ghost to preach the word in Asia. When they came to Bithynia, they asked to go to Mysia, but the Spirit suffered them not. And they, passing by Mysia, came to Troas. There appeared a vision unto Paul in the night. Verse 9 says, There stood a man of Macedonia and prayed him, saying, Come over here into Macedonia and help us. Verse 10 says, After we have seen the vision, Immediately, we endeavored to go to Macedonia, assuredly gathering that the Lord had called us for to preach the gospel to them. 
You know, the fact that something is good, that mommy, you should do it. That's the mistake I see many Christians make. Here was Paul. He wanted to go and preach the word in Asia at that time. And God said, no, don't go there. In other words, even preaching the word of God, you don't just get up and preach to people because it's a good idea. You go and you preach to people because it's a God idea. A God idea, not a good idea. So in his missionary work, he was assisted by the Holy Spirit through his counsel. And through the counsel of the Holy Spirit, Paul had a very successful ministry. Let me tell you something about ministry. The fact that there is an opportunity for ministry, that's not mean it should be done. The only thing that has to be done is the will of God. And you only know it by knowing the voice of God, the assistance of God. God assisted him to, to preach the word of God in places where it will work. Because it's not everywhere that you're preaching will work. So I pray that the Holy Ghost will counsel you by assisting you and helping you through his counsel to raise your children, to run your business, whatever. Today we learn that when we hear the voice of God, we are supernaturally assisted by God himself through the Holy Spirit. Join us same time tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Delivered from spiritual attacks. Dear Kakra, I wrote to you to intervene in the spiritual battles in my life. You prayed for me and recommended your book, The Rules of Engagement. To the glory of God, I've been delivered from the invisible cobwebs that entangled me. I am free forever in Jesus' name. Thank you for your prayers. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 70 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.